It is currently 8.36 p.m. and today was my last first day of classes here at college in SUNY Geneseo and if I'm kind of whispering it's because I'm in a study room and I don't know I do not want to be obnoxiously loud but um yeah today's like my first day of classes for spring semester and it went really well actually um I only had two classes today and they were pretty enjoyable um it's kind of strange because this semester like my schedule is very much open um and that's because i'm taking 12 credits and technically i'm taking two classes and then i'm doing a capstone project so a lot of the work is me doing independently it is february 23rd and i am panicking like i actually kind of want to cry because of how nervous scared and frustrated i am because yesterday i was trying to play around with audio clips and just see like how the interviews would sound and the quality of it and i'm a little nervous because the quality of some of the interviews are not good because it's through zoom and some of them it's not something that you can really fix because you're you know in different locations or it's just not feasible but the quality really will change the outcome of the podcast and the quality of it one of the things that you cannot do is fix audio like if an audio is bad the quality is bad I'm not crying to like, I don't know, like for sympathy or anything. I think it's just important for people to see um, the challenges when it comes to doing a, a documentary podcast on something that's real, something that is um, sad. And today, um, I don't even know what day it is today, but um, I got an email from the mailroom and um, Matthew's father, Keith, had sent a, a book um, called In Loving Memory of Hutch, and it's basically like a book of memories and stories that friends have shared with his parents. Um, and just in reading it and seeing the photos, I already got really emotional. And um, there are moments definitely where I just, it, I get emotional because it's just sad, you know, once you see like photos and you read stories or you hear stories and you meet the people that knew him, it just, you really feel for them, you know, and, and you also really empathize with them because you realize what a wonderful person Matthew was and the fact that they lost someone like that, like you can only imagine what it would be like to feel those emotions and to go through something as traumatizing as that but yeah so here's just like me um like i just received the book which is absolutely a beautiful gift to just allow like trust me that i think this is going to be helpful for when i'm writing like the script for his episodes but um yeah i mean what a beautiful soul and um this is Definitely what goes behind the scenes is there'll be times where you, you feel that loss in the sense that um, you ache for the family and friends and um, the fact that seven years now we can still continue to talk about Matthew and moving forward, continue to see his name, um, that's just powerful. So, um, yeah.